so today our topic is extended euclidean algorithm to understand this topic you should know what is euclidean algorithm and this part i have already covered in my previous video so get the basic what is euclidean algorithm and how to find gcd of two number using this algorithm because this video extended euclidean algorithm is just the extension okay extension of euclidean algorithm so let us understand this by an example the example is uh, find gcd of 161,28 using extended euclidean algorithm and also find and also find s and t okay so this is the question and this is the exam question so take a special care okay so let us start the video what is step one step one is uh, creating the table and table has a lot of columns so make a note while writing the notes Okay. So column 1 is Q, column 2 is R1, column 3 is R2, Okay, this is R2 and I will rub and I will write correctly, it's R2. Then we have uh, R, so this uh, is exactly same as the Euclidean algorithm, correct, nothing is changed. Now we have extra columns, S1, S2, S, T1, T2 and T. You can see the six extra columns and there is also some assumptions and equations so write it down as well okay what is the assumption assumption is s1 is 1 s2 is 0 and t1 is 0 and t2 is 1 this is standard assumption given by the euclidean sorry extended euclidean algorithm books okay so this is the standard assumption s1 is 1 s2 is 0 t1 is 0 t2 is 1 okay so what to do next next is fill in the values r1 and r2 r1 is what it's the highest value among the two number the highest value is 161 so r1 is 161 and the remaining part would be r2 use your logic which we have already studied in the previous video 161 divided by 28 so 28 five are it is 140 do the subtraction the answer is 21 numerator part is the coefficient part denominator part is remainder part coefficient is 5 remainder is 21 what about s what about t how to get this value we have one more equation okay so i will rub this part i hope you have written this in your notebooks okay now uh, what are the equation the equations are s is equal to s1 minus s2 into q and uh, same goes for t t is equal to t1 minus t2 into q and use this expression to get your value so what is the value of s1 s1 is 1 and s2 is 0 and q is 5 so after substitution s would be equal to 1 minus 0 into 5 which is 1 so value of s is 1 and similarly you can find the value of t the value of t is equal to t1 which is 0 minus t2 which comes out to be 1 into q which is 5 so minus 5 and i will write here minus 5 okay i hope you got your row 1 elements now we are moving forward to the row 2 elements to get the row 2 elements the same logic we have to use the logic we use in the euclidean algorithm shifting of the terms r2 would be shifted at r1 position r would be shifted at r2 position s2 would be shifted at s1 position s would be shifted at s2 position similarly t2 is shifted here and t is shifted here okay so i will write the values the values are 28 21 0 1 1 minus 5 how to get the rest element it's simple it's simple literally what uh, logic we have used in the row 1 elements we did the division first after doing the division we got the quotient and remainder okay once we get quotient and remainder then we can find value of s and t the same steps we are following here 28 should be divided by 21 you can see 28 and 21 are the elements so 28 uh, when divided by 21 it's ones are 21 and this is 7 okay so this part is the remainder part this part is the coefficient part so coefficient is 1 and remainder is 7 
then you can get the value of s using the equation so the value of s here comes out to be minus 1 the value of t using the equation answer comes out to be 6 okay you can move further to the next uh, uh, row which is row 3 how to get the elements shifting okay this is not tough i have already given uh, these steps in the previous video so the same steps are repeating okay so you can see here uh, the steps all the shifting versions so 21 7 1 minus 1 minus 5 6 do the division i hope you can do it i will pause here for some minute let us see how many students can solve this yes the answer is 3 then 0 then it's uh, so the value of s is 4 then the value of t i have written it down it's minus 23 okay again you have to do the shifting the final shifting because now we will arrive at a problem okay so this is the final shifting and yes the final shifting 7 0 minus 1 4 6 minus 23 what is the problem now you cannot divide it further 7 divided by 0 you you cannot do it 7 by 0 it's not possible so if it's not possible we do not have any quotient we do not have any remainder and hence we cannot find the value of s we cannot find the value of t so this is the last row and you have got your answer the value of gcd is here the value of gcd is 7 this is gcd the value of s okay this is the value of s okay s is nothing but updated s1 which is equal to minus 1 this is the value of t t is nothing but updated value of t1 which is equal to 6 so your final answer is gcd is 7 s is minus 1 and t is 6 so i hope you got the solution and the process how to find the values of gcds and snt using extended euclidean algorithm this is helpful and powerful to find the multiplicative inverse of a number. In the next video, we are going to study how to use this concept to find multiplicative inverse of a number. So friends, if you like my video, then do like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जेन पीस आउट